So you'll end up netting $400 per spot. So you, this little spot right here. 1200 a month cash flow. Net. Uh, yeah. Each spot that I create is gonna increase the value by at least 35,000. So crazy. This property sat on the market seven to eight months before I saw it and bought it. But whenever I saw it, I'm, you know, in the back of my mind, I was thinking, why does nobody else see this? All right, guys, I'm here with Nick and Jim. We're here in Slidell, Louisiana. Yeah, These guys are being super hospitable, giving us a little bit of a tour of this property that can feed three families is how much income is made from this property. Go watch the full walkthrough of this property in the link down below. But I want to ask you guys a couple of questions. Yep. Okay, people that don't know what an RV park is about, they look at this and they go, what the hell am I looking at right here? Is this a finished spot? It's not a finished spot. That's gonna be a value add spot. Why the hell is this piece of land an opportunity for you? So basically we will be able to add three more spots right here. Damn, really? Which will all cash flow, five, bring in 585 a month, but Each typically, spot. typically cash flow 400 a piece per month. Okay, so 585 is what they pay you. Yeah. 185 is what you've mathematically figured out is your cost. Yes. So you'll end up netting $400 per spot. So you, this little spot right here. 1200 a month cash flow. Net. Uh, yeah. A net. piece of dirt. Yep. Why are more people not doing RV parks? Well, you got to look at it as, uh, you know, certain municipalities may not want to approve one. And they're, they're out there to grab, though. People that, you know, maybe looking for one, just buy a distressed one, fix it up. Of course, that, you know, that's easy to say, but you need the cash to put a down payment and you also need the cash backing. Well, you don't, you don't really. If you guys go watch the full walkthrough of the, of the other video, he actually says how he bought this one for $1.3 million. You don't actually need the cash. He, I, I don't know, he's trying to be secretive about it. But you also, it sounds like you also need a gym. Yeah, so whenever I got the park, like I said, I met the lady, she's been here for 13 years and she begged and pleaded with me to meet with Jim. So Nick came and met me at the Louisiana Rent Fair while I was working. Uh, we went into, I have a little dock, uh, my business is man the cannons, I have a little water cannons, shoot boats, okay. and we went and met on there, and I also want to show them this is the kind of things I build, and I designed all this, and then it's the whole mechanism, and it was kind of trying to give a first impression, and so we met for about two hours, I think about the first 20 minutes was his interview, and I, I saw his real quick that he's going to hire me. How this opportunity presents itself is, okay. the first failure of a campground is always the failure of maintenance. All throughout this park, the maintenance had gotten so bad yeah. that they lost whole sections of land. They had multiple broken pipes here that we're only now getting fixed and whatnot. This was all a super swamp. Now we're just getting down to get all the fixes done. Okay. And now we have to build out these sites. So each of these sites is going to cost us about $5,000 per SWAT to build out. We have to make the repairs in place. We have to get good functional fittings. Then we have to rock everything out and make sure we provide good power, which is going to be in this place. Okay, so you got an obvious broken sewer here. And this was buried and only recently discovered. We knew this section of land was unusable, but not why until recently. Got it. So okay. you're you're saying five thousand dollars a spot, so you're looking at fifteen thousand dollars. Essentially if you net twelve hundred dollars a month from this. Yeah, but not only that, it increases the value of the park. Each spot that I create is gonna increase the value by at least thirty five thousand. So crazy. What Nick is saying is he's saying that it for every spot, there's three of them right here that is bringing in cash flow, your net operating income goes up, yeah. which then takes the value of the property and makes that go up $35,000 per spot. So you're looking at a, basically $100,000 or for, a little for over- For $15,000 spent. For $15,000 yes. spent. Plus, you, is your ultimate goal to keep this RV park for a long time? Or are you thinking about renovating it, selling it? I, I would like to keep it for a long time yeah. and keep using it like in the Burr method. I could just borrow against it and buy more real estate. This is phenomenal. Why not? I love it. So, Jim, you're saying five thousand dollars per spot. So I'm looking at about fifteen grand. I've got one power box here. Do you guys have to do two more power boxes? Correct. Yes, we'd have to add two more power boxes, and that's in there. And that's the the biggest deal where Nick has been able to go forward so far. Is when he got on, he did not know that much about the mechanics. So okay. He took the time to learn how to do it, and then now he's become invaluable, not just as an owner, but he directly works with me to build these things out. Mm. And by doing it in house. The cost versus contracting out versus doing it in-house. If you had a contract out to do the three spots, it'd be an exponentially lot more. Okay, so you've got your average lot here is five hundred and eighty-five dollars a month. Yeah. Okay. Why is it not five ninety? Does five eighty-five just sound sound better? No. So we we plan on an increase. Okay. Beginning of the year, but we've just been catching up, making repairs and whatnot, and we will act 
absolutely, I think mid year, probably go up to 615, 620. Got it. Okay, cool. So, so the pricing has been And we just went up six months ago. As we increase your other competition the, as well, right? Uh, yeah. Right. And as we overall increase the amenities and appearance of the park. Understand they were all very poor when Nick originally acquired them. So we've been keeping the pricing just high enough that we can stay fairly full. But then as we increase the overall beauty of the park, the functionality of the park, then we can keep raising because then we can be on a one-to-one -one tier with neighboring parks that were already much better. Got it. Okay. We needed to keep our pricing where we were attractive versus something that was already more manicured. And now as we get there, we'll be able to incrementally raise price. So adding these three sites increases the beautification overall. It lends to raising the prices of everywhere else. Because instead of an eyesore, this was a swamp six months ago. Mm. It'll be, uh, you know, nice and sights and everything else. That makes everything look better and gives us the ability to raise. The question that pops up in every newbie's mind is this. Why would the seller not just improve this themselves? Why would they sell it to Nick? Well, people have problems. You know, yeah. it's, it's all I can think of. Or, or they may be interested in doing something else and they don't see the value. The problem is a lack of vision. Okay, so if if I bought this property and I had ten other properties, or I was doing other things, and I just I didn't have the right person right to help me along with it, then it's like, well, how can I how can I get further in this property without the right person? And they just may not have the vision. They may have not put the effort in as with bigger pockets and understand cap rates and the value. The thing that has kept me going is that I see the vision with the value add right like i'm putting i'm putting millions of my net worth mm -hmm. and not only that it's something that could cash flow five hundred thousand a year once i drop in this line of credit and finish building it out it's going to cash flow half a million a year so great. so so it's not like i need all this money to buy things like i want to buy more real estate i want to keep growing and pushing there's there's it. there's a wonderful answer right there you'll run into a lot of sellers that either a have not gotten educated or b they get to a certain phase of their life and they go, I, I put in the work. Yeah. I, did the, I did the thing. I've, I've had a good living. I've supported my wife and my children and I've had a great life. I'm not interested in going and taking this and other parts of this park and improving them. I've done what I wanted to do. It's now time for the next young buck to come in here and take, take the torch. Right. That could be it too. There's literally hundreds of reasons why sellers do what they do. But I wanted to highlight that because people will constantly ask, why would a seller get rid of a property that I'm so excited about potentially buying. And uh, there's always a really good reason. And when you hear the story, um, maybe we'll go into that a little bit more into the tour. But uh, when you hear the story, typically a newbie goes, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. Now that I realize that there is an opportunity for me yeah. if I go and find these types of uh, parts. This property sat on the market seven to eight months before wow. anybody, before I saw it and bought it. But whenever I saw it, I'm, you know, in the back of my mind, I was thinking, why does nobody else see this? Like, mm. everybody else saw this they property. they haven't watched, they haven't listened and, to 300 podcasts. Th <laughs> yeah, so, but if you think of, if you think of jumping on a bandwagon, he's like, well, nobody's touching it, so maybe I shouldn't touch it. Yeah. But I went out there, and I did my, my marine reconnaissance, and I went next door, and I looked at what other properties are doing, and I saw it's a good area. They're charging what they charge. They're 100% full. There's no reason why this one can't be that. And I had the vision for it. Good, good on you. Guys, uh, we're going to continue on with the tour, so go take a look at that. Nick's Facebook link will be down in the description below. Also, the video of the full walk through the property will be in the description below. See you in that video.